what you will. My name is Miriam and I need an update. Cut, oh. color and condition. Okay, nice. And of course it is a short hairstyle. Yes. And we're going to work it out with a lot of new techniques and slice techniques. Okay, let's start. Bye, bye. Hello friends in YouTube. I could do Miriam's hair. Of course I start with protection like I always do. Now she loves uh, nice shades, soft shades. So I'm thinking about bleaching her hair. But first I'm going to cut it. And I'll cut this hairstyle with a lot of play with it in it because it's, it can be a lot, a lot rougher, nicer, trendier. So I will use a lot of slice techniques to make this happen. Start by wetting your hair. You cannot slice hair when it's not wet. Because then you do it like a knife and when it's not wet you get stuck in the hair. So mostly I put also a cutting a conditioner on there. It makes it a little bit more easy with the slice techniques. I use a uh, conditioner on the hair, it's a calming cream of Lanza. Just one drop is enough. It's an ultra soft creamy product. It smells always nice, like all the things of Lanza do. Starting at the crown and up slicing. And my comb makes it possible to do this because this lays the hairs in the line of cutting. And when I lay it back I have a lot of playability into the hair. Take away the thickness on the skull bone. And slides from the left to the right and the right to the left. So it get nice effects into the hair. Front I leave a little bit longer. Controlling the length of the freehand style. Work all the lines from out of the center of the skull. But this will be a little bit jumpy, but that I need in this hairstyle. To the front, I give it long, slow slice techniques. Always closing my scissor while I'm slicing in the same tempo as I work. Give it some under slice.
come to the left side of course this is the shorter side of this hairstyle ultra fine slice techniques creating on the left side a nice open frame but still in slice techniques Almost everything about this hairstyle is in slice techniques. This is a slipping slice technique, so you close your scissor in the line of the fringe. To the back, I give it a move to the back. I'll free the ear. Ultra fine slice techniques, I do only with the tip of my scissor. Ultra small point cut techniques. This you can also use to reduce the thickness of the hair. Bend an ear to the front. Create a softer line around the open side of the face. Yes, I have to do cutting. Can make this slicing. Otherwise, it would look like a brush. Again, you see how many work my comb does for me. It just lays the hairs in a natural fall and the way I want them. Coming to the longer side, leave also the sides a little bit longer. Lay them in a natural form. Free the ear. Take away a little bit of the thickness. This is a cutting slice technique. It's 
So I slice and cut in one line. Also on this side, I take the hairs up. Connect them to the back. Don't want too much hair behind the ear. to do with a knife. Now from the part of the skull bone I take my nice hot razor of Ego and make this neckline into an ultra soft neckline. The nice thing about a hot razor is that it don't boost the hair. And it gives an ultra soft neckline, so the hairs feel ultra ultra soft. This because the ends are sealed by the heat of the knife. Work in the roundings of the skull bone, softly going down. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bleach her hair. She wants a nice soft colors in. That we decide when her hair is blonde. So you have to wait to see. Uh huh. Laat niet alles zien in één keer. Nee. Het leukste stukje Hollands erin. Clever. Yeah. So now I can bleach there. Okay, I made her a blue bleach, 9%, dirty volume, and I put in a lot of fire blonde. Normally I put in mostly a, for a short hairstyle about uh, 7 centimeters. Now with about 10, 12. This reduces the yellow tones in the hair and brings it up to a, a sort of light blonde. So more than free, the bleach and use it. And I will make use of the differences between the color already blonde, because this will light up enormously. Can I add the bleach on? Take cotton wick, lay it on the contour line. This takes away the heat of the plastic foil. Lay a little bit in the neckline and a little bit on top because bleach always comes up because it's a dust product. So I give it space to develop. Close my foil, control it after 50 minutes. And of course you see the end result of it. Okay, after 20 minutes. With a little bit heat, not much, just on the lowest level of the, uh, the heating tube. I rinse it out. This I also do because I have uh, previous cold color in the hair and otherwise they get damaged too much so that's why I rinse it out now set a toner on the hair the toner I made here is uh, from Lac May it's a silver and it's with 3% the stand volume dry it a little bit
apply the toner on here. I'm going to work on her hair with Profana colors. Softly combing the toner through the hair. This makes spreading of the product a lot easier. This will leave in for five minutes, then I'll rinse it out. Okay, we're back from bleaching. And now we're gonna work with two colors of Profana. I'll show you which colors I'm gonna use. The darkest color I'm going to use is uh, on the bottom and on the lines. And on top is the lighter violet color. Start in the underlines. This is with the deeper purple. It's a purple violet color. When I come higher, I just set in the first centimeter. Lay the longer hair aside. Now I've got all the dark colors on. Now I'll go in at the ends with my light violet. And the nice thing about using violets is that uh, after a while when the color is getting out of the hair, a wonderful platinum blonde stays behind. Because you reduce all the yellow colors. Now I've got all the light violet on her hair. Just cover it up again with a carton wig. Give it some heat for 15 minutes. Then rinse it out. And then I can style the hair. And the products of Profana are ammonia free, of course. And they are developed colors. Okay, back from coloring. To protect the hair by blow drying, I use of David Gray a violet toner and conditioner. I love this product very much. It smells also nice. It helps to keep the color in the right shade. It looks like this, and you have to shake it before you use it. Start blow drying with a small brush. I work it out with my fingers.
the styling I use of Profana uh, shine. It smells also nice, a little bit like candy. And this is Miriam's new hairstyle and color. We will turn around in the studio, make photos of it inside outside so you can see the difference in color. That. What's that? Um, will you turn around to show the end result of your hair? And thank you for modeling. Thank you. You're more than welcome. <laughs>